All right, part one on installing and using the player. First of all, go to my website, and that I'm using the Brave browser uh, for, and go to my uh, website, which is www.cs.uni.edu slash squiggleocane, and then click on uh, Pocket Radio. And if you click down to Pocket Radio, then click on the current version, and I'm clicking on it. And I'm going to save it on the desktop in a directory called Demo. And I save it. And now we're done with this. We go over to Demo, and we say, there it is. There's the compressed tar file. I right-click on it, and I say, Extract here. And it extracted it. All right, let's go down here. And you see there are the files. To, in order to install and run it, uh, first of all, there is a binary, which may or may not work for you. Probably will not, because you probably don't have the libraries. That's an executable binary. Uh, but um, you probably want to compile it and build it yourself. You probably don't have the libraries. Right-click in here and say Open in Terminal. First of all, you got to get the libraries. There is a lot of standard system code that's not put on most installations. You need to get it. All of this is standard code. It's not coming from any weird places. Um, the file is general install.script and it does a bunch of apt-get, for example, here. Um, apt-get and it's installing libgtk3-dev, which is the development software. Um, MPV, which is video player VLC. Um, you may have some of these, in which case these commands will do nothing other than possibly update them to the most recent version. Okay, so you have to run that sort of thing, the apt-get, or now it's just plain called apt. It used to be called apt-get. Doesn't matter. Um, you need to run it as root, so sudo um, dot slash general install dot script, and it'll ask for my password, and there it's running. Now, since they're already installed on my machine, it's going to run very quickly. It's going to go through them bang, bang, bang. Uh, on your machine, uh, it will get to places where you do not have the code, and it'll sit there installing. It will take longer. You see, it won't take, it won't go this quick, uh, unless you happen to have everything, in which case it will go this quick. So, there may be occasional messages. I don't read them usually unless it totally fails, but it shouldn't. All right, it has downloaded all the software, everything you need in order to compile it and to run it. Uh, the libraries have been installed on your machine. So what you need to do now is make your own copy. And there is a make file for it, uh, dash capital B. Capital B will cause it to recompile everything. Um, I, this does not put anything into your system directories. Everything will be in the current directory. All right, so it's not installing anything into slash user slash lib or anything like that. The previous things, the apt it did, of course, because they're standard system libraries, but this does not. If you want to put it in your standard system library, do it yourself. Okay, so it's compiling. There are several routines to compile. I broke them up into, I don't know how many individual routines, quite a lot. And uh, actually, it compiles faster as one giant program. But anyway, it's easier to maintain if you have a lot of different files. So there it goes. Chug, 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 chug. And it is, hopefully, compiling. Well, I know it's compiling. And there was a link edit at the end. All right, so you have compiled it. You've downloaded the libraries. You've compiled it. And in order to run it, it's dot slash um, player dash bin. And up it comes. All right, so there it is. Now, these may be blue on yours because you don't have uh, my uh, music files. Uh, you will have to install music files, and we'll get to that in the next video.